Hello, welcome to the All About Me presentation on what to do for your presentation. This one is all about the information that you need to be putting in your Google Slides and your video. And there's a separate one if you want to see what one looks like. So a uh, reminder of why we're doing this is part of college, uh, when you're applying for your majors or uh, interviewing for a job or a scholarship, you need to be able to talk about yourself, which is a skill. Uh, normally we would do this in front of the whole class because it's also important that you're doing it in front of someone. Uh, but we're gonna do it by video this year just to kind of simplify things a little bit. So um, it's a 40 point project. Um, we'll, I'll show you the points breakdown in a little bit. Um, you wanna make 10 slides, but you'll notice I only have seven pieces of information here. So certain slides you might wanna break up into a couple slides. It's up to you about how you wanna divvy them up. I would not look at this as like, okay, this should be slide one, this should be slide two, this should be slide three. You just wanna make sure that all of this information is located somewhere in your presentation. All right, um, so uh, you wanna talk about what your life was before high school, what you've been doing in high school, so as well as like activities. And this could also be outside of school activities. You don't have to just talk about things you do in heights. You wanna give yourself some shout outs. Who are some of the people who have really supported you? Um, I would also like you to talk about what you have gotten out of AVID, how AVID has helped you grow as a student. Um, over the four years that you, or maybe more years that you've been in AVID. Um, where do you wanna go next? Where do you wanna see yourself? Uh, that's what these next two are, are talking about. It's important to know where you wanna go uh, and what your goals are so that you can make sure that you're always making steps towards that thing that you're trying to do. Um, most importantly though, is have fun with this. This is not meant to be something dry. I really want you to have fun when you make these projects. And I've even given you points for that. Um, so points break down. Uh, you've got 10 slides, you got 10 points. Uh, great. Uh, so you wanna do, make sure you're original. So you don't wanna copy my presentation. You wanna use it as an idea, as a launching off point to create yours. But put a theme in there, uh, about mix up the order, may, uh, put some uh, connecting things in between them that are neat. Um, next section is all about clarity. Can we read what is going on in there? If you do a black slide with a gray font, it's gonna be really difficult to see. So can we read what's going on in your slides? Uh, use of graphics. Um, you wanna make sure that you can see things and that they look nice. Uh, putting pictures of yourself is great. You should make sure that there are those. You don't have to only do pictures of yourself, but you wanna make sure that we see this is about you, so we should see you in it. Um, so making sure you length of your presentation, uh, that's actually a misnomer. It should say, what's your creativity? So, uh, how inventive were you in creating this presentation or does it, uh, feel like everybody else's? So we want to be unique, um, in your video, you want to make sure that you're speaking clearly, uh, and you're, you, you make sense while you're talking. Maybe you talk a little bit better than me. Uh, and then a uh, final thing is content. Do you have all of the things that uh, were expected? Final category is we're gonna be watching these videos and giving each other feedback. Uh, so will you be asking questions of your peers? I'm gonna grade that you are responding to each other and giving each other appropriate questions and answering them, uh, answering them well. That's it for how this thing works. Again, this is just the information of what you need in the presentation. Uh, the other video is a sample of what your video could look like. Remember, being creative with this is important. Thanks for watching.